Hi beautiful people, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can make your own business e-commerce website from the scratch on the WordPress. So let me share my screen and show you step by step that what we are going to cover in this tutorial. So this is the website today we are going to build step by step. It is an e-commerce website. On the top you can see that it has a beautiful logo and a navigation bar and beautiful icons. If someone is going to click on the site, they can search the product and the wish list icon and my account and uh, cart icon and here we have the beautiful video on home page and we scroll down here we have the latest product section and you can see that if you hover the product the image is changing then here we have the selection option that you add to cart and if you scroll down here we can see that we have beautiful animated uh, banner section as well so scroll down here we have it more the products if you want you can put on the store and we scroll down here we have the beautiful uh footer section as well so this is all we're going to uh cover in this tutorial that how you can build and if i click on the shop page you will see all the products on the shop and here you can see the uh, sidebar there people can filterize through the price or they can click on any category if someone is going to click, click on the bus let so people are going to see only the bus lets. so let me to take you on my another screen and show you step by step that how you can build like this amazing website so let me show you that first how you can get here on wordpress dashboard so you need to purchase the hosting and the domain first to get the wordpress installed so you need to purchase the from here hosting i am going to give you the link also below in the description if you're going to purchase through my link you will not pay the more but you're going to get some discount and i will get some commission thank you so much in advance and if we scroll down here you will see some packages here they have the popular most popular package and then if you click on to this one you will see the premium so here you can build 100 website and this is also really cool and i will suggest you if you want to uh, start your business just go with this premium month then you have to click on choose a plan and let me show you how you're going to get the discount it says 2.99 per month but let me show you how you're going to get the discount for that and yeah here we go so now it's at the four of our 48 months you have to pay 2.90 dollar but if you're going to get the uh 12 month and you will see the discount if you're going to select the 12 of a one year plan so click on here then scroll down you're going to get the free domain as well so actually the hosting the server where you're going to uh save all the files and the website going to be built on the uh, on the server where uh, you're going to get the all the time internet so your website going to be live 24 hours so that's why you need to purchase the hosting and domain is just like the address of your website like the facebook.com hostinger.com so if people want to go to your business website they can find you through your uh, business address like the domain is called the domain so you're going to get a free domain as well so here if you scroll down here you have to create the account uh, go with the Google or you can enter your email and then here you can see you're going to get the premium uh, hosting for 12 months and you see you you have to pay only 30 at point 20 at uh, 28 dollars and you're going to have the amazing free domain and the hosting so you can build any kind of the website no matter whatever the business you have you can pay through the credit card PayPal Google Pay and Alipay or you also can, can pay with the cryptocurrency okay and once it's done you're going to see you're going to have the discount of this one only the 38 you have to pay uh, for the free domain and the hosting so once you're going to uh, get hosting then you will see option to uh, install a wordpress then you have to click on to the wordpress and then you will see the button wp and you will be redirected to here on wordpress dashboard so this is how you can get in here wordpress dashboard so once you have purchased the domain and the hosting then yeah you will be redirect to here and now let's get started to build amazing beautiful and mobile responsive e-commerce website so we're going to use all the free resources in this tutorial so you just have to pay uh, 38 dollars at point 28 for the domain and the hosting okay so first if we visit the site after installing the wordpress uh, you will see like this uh, template and this not looks so good but we're going to design everything so it looks more professional okay 
okay once you click there then we're going to click on again to dashboard so we're going to see wordpress dashboard here so before we're going to start let me clean this environment so i'm going to click on the screen options so i will just unmark these all uh options so we're going to have the clean environment here okay once it's done it looks more clean so first what we have to do we need some plugins and the theme so first we're going to install a theme theme is going to define your website some features and the layout so we're going to go with the themes just stay with me and you're going to build your amazing e-commerce website and if you're new on my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe and uh, yeah just click on add a new theme here so i would like to add here the theme is called the woosty feed and uh, i have built okay it's wrong spelling i think so far so it's the woost fee um yeah this one i think woost fee w o s d i f y woost fee and this theme is uh free uh but this is really so amazing i'm building the website for over six years and i'm using the only two themes for my client the extra and woost v and both are really so amazing so once you search that you will see this option click on to install and yeah once it's installed then you have to click on activate now let me take off this one okay so we have installed the theme perfect again i'm going to click on here to the home and now we need to install some plugins so uh here in the left corner you will see the panel here you will see the more options we're going to see all the options later on so let's restart to install some useful plugins so here we just have have to have over here the plugins and we're going to click on add a new so we can install the new plugins but if you're going to click on install plugins by default you will see some plugins are installed but uh, yeah if you just click on add a new you can install otherwise you have to click on here to add a new plugin so actually the plugin is uh some sort of the code it's going to give the more functionality to your website now website is normally uh looks good the clean but if you want to extend the functionality in your website then you need to install the plugin so first we need to install the alimenter actually alimenter is the a tool which is going to help you to build a website without writing a single code so you don't need to uh, understand or you have to learn the uh, coding so yeah it's very easy to use just drag and drop system so you can easily build any kind of website no matter you have the coding background or not once you have searched then yeah after installing you have see this button click on activate but before we're going to activate we're going to install another plugin also so we're going to activate all the plugins together so another plugin i need it's the woocommerce plugin woocommerce and here we go this one you have to write the full names of woo c o w m r e r c woocommerce and this plugin is going to make your normal website it's going to convert into the e-commerce website you can see that woocommerce is the plugin uh, no matter whatever the website you have on the wordpress and if you want to make it to the e-commerce site then you have to install this plugin okay so we're going to click on install now okay so we have installed two plugins the elementor uh and the woocommerce and there is another plugin i just want to add it's called a wishlist plugin and this plugin is really cool uh, i like that so i'm going to use that as well so this plugin we're going to install uh ti woocommerce wishlist just click on install and there is an other plugin we're going to install uh let me show you that later on so first we're just going to click on install plugins and now once you click on install plugin you will see here uh the plugins we have installed the elementor the it woocommerce wishlist and the woocommerce so we're going to select one by one and once you have selected uh the plugins that you have installed then we're going to click on the bulk options here and then we're going to select activate and click on apply and now the plugins will be activated okay so 
I say run the setup wizard. So I'll uh, let's do that. Click on to run, and then click on to the maybe we say uh, let's go, and yeah, just make sure just click on to continue for everything. Uh, continue, and click continue because this plugin is going to make something much better. So uh, you're going to have the option in your website for the wish list. So click on continue. Yeah, that's it. Just once it's done, just click on return to dashboard. No rocket scientist was super easy. I guess so we see here some uh, uh, text. So we just take off this one. So click on WooCommerce and the Elementor Overview. And click on this one as well. Okay, so now if we visit the site, let me show you. So now this is how it looks. On the top, you see we have the beautiful header. But yet, yet we have not added the pages. And here you can see the options. Search. And then the wish list. Then this you can my account and the cart. So we're going to make everything looks much better. So this is how it looks. So first, what we have to do now, we again go back to WordPress dashboard here. And then here you can see that after installing some plugins, we have the some more options in the left panel. Here said we have the WooCommerce, we have the Elementor, and it, it was the wish list here. Okay, perfect. So what we have to do first, if you are building the e-commerce web website, first we need to add some categories and then we're going to add the products. So maybe you have the store and you're going to sell um, multiple products and you have the categories and yeah, so you want to upload some products in specific categories. So here you will see the WooCommerce option. We're going to go uh, later on in the WooCommerce more options, but under the need, you will see option the products. So we have all the products and yet we have not added a product, add a new product. And here you can see the categories. So we're going to click on the categories from here. And now we can add our um, categories that we have. So for, suppose I want to enter here some categories I have right down here. Maybe I just want to say the uh, Bustlet category. This You can add whatever you have, then click on to the uh, add a new category. So now you will see this is the category is added. This is how you can add the categories on your e-commerce website on the WordPress. And then let maybe I just want to add another category. It's called the chains like that. And then um, once it's done, we're going to click on add a new category. Okay, so now we have added two categories. And yeah, maybe you have some variation for your categories like uh, the colors and the sizes. You can add that as well. So for that, what you have to do here, you will see the attributes, click on that. I will show you later on why I'm adding these uh, options. So here, here we say, suppose we say we have the uh, some variation in our product. Suppose I have uh, the chain and we have in the small, in the medium, in the large size. So here, suppose I say size, I just want to add the attribute name size and then we're going to say it uh, yeah whatever just click on add uh, attribute and then now you can see that we have the size attribute maybe uh, another can be the color uh, let me add the color here okay attribute the color because you know when you have a products maybe you're going to have in the sizes in the different colors different sizes so that's why we're going to add the attributes uh, so we have add a color and uh, side and then click on the add attribute now we have added two attributes so you know normally you if you visit the e-commerce website you can see them they have the color and inside the color they have the variations and uh, in the size they have the different uh, variation as well so we have added attributes the color and the size. now we're going to configure here you will see the option configure the thumb click on that so now we can add uh, the water color uh, you have so suppose I say we have the black color and here click on add a new so now you will see that we have added the black here and then if we're going to select another option well maybe I'm going to select uh, here like uh, the white and click on add a new okay for this there is another plugin is called the um, Variation. So if you're going to install that plugin, then it will be more amazing. But for now, let me show you this one. Uh, very easy. So later on. Uh, but but yeah, definitely let me 
But uh, add this plugin pl quickly for you. There is another plugin. It's called the Radiation. If you can write here the Radiation. Um, yeah, Radiation. Radiation. Here we go. And it is the by Imran uh, uh, this plugin. Uh, and this really so amazing. Here we go. That's a uh, variation search for WooCommerce. And then by Imran Ahmed, just click on install now. You can see that I have this so many uh, three lakh uh, uh, installation and activated users. So, yeah, definitely this plugin is very good. So, we have to uh, active this one. Once you have done, again, if we go here and do the WooCommerce and we're going, no, in the, uh, I mean, in the products and attributes, click there. And now, here we we can select now the type of everything. Suppose if I go here in the color, I just want to show you something here. So we now you see the function are extended. So in the color, we have also the type of the color here. We guess a type. So we say this is the color. Okay, and then now we click on update. Okay, once it's done, click on the back to attributes. And now if I'm going to click on the configure the term and now here you will see the another option this white. So if I click on the edit because I just want to add something here. So now you can say that the black so we can change the color of the uh, variation. So we say it's the black so we're going to select the black and click on update. So now there will be the icon of the black color. So this is uh, how cool plugin is. So not the black and the white, you can see the uh, automatically. But if I click on edit, and then we can select. And now, if you're going to add any new variation uh, here, so then you don't need to write the name. And then uh, if you say, suppose red, if I say the red, and now here you can select the color. So this is the red. And click on add a new. So now you can see this option. Okay, this is cool. So now we go back again. Uh, from here, click on to the attributes. So now let's we go here in the size. So we're going to also click the configure. So I just click on the size first. Let me check that how it is. So it is select nice. This is good. But if you want, you can do something else here to make it the radio options. Like uh, if I click on here, so I will say there should be the uh, radio. So like the small icons so we could just going to click on uh, update and i'll click on to back the attributes now here we just click on the configure the term so we can add the variation so suppose i'm going to add here the small like the s i'm just going to give for the small and I click on add a new size it is size and then we say the small so i'm going to give only m and there is the l for the large but you can add uh, as much as you want. So I am just adding the few of them. Okay, so these three. Okay, so this is how we can add the attributes and the variations for our uh, products. And then now we're going to add another thing. It is called the products. So here on the left, you will see if I click on the all the products from here. So now you can see that we have no any product. Create a new product. And if you want, you just can click on add a new. So you're going to click, uh, you can add the product. So if I'm going to click on here, create a product from here. So now I can add the product here. So suppose I here says, um, I will say white, maybe whatever the name you want to give, I say the chain, white chain, just the example I am going to write here. And white chain. And if I scroll down here, you can write the product description if you want. And here you can, on the right side, you will see the more option, product image. So you can select the product image. Just click on this one, set a picture. Then you have to click on upload the file. So I'm going to upload from here, um, this one from site. And I have the product images here. So suppose I just want to add here the, uh, suppose, uh, Maybe I just want to add the here the bracelet to the side, give the chance. Suppose this is a chain, just an example to show you. So just click on set product. And this is going to be the main product. But if you want, you can add here the add the product gallery images. So maybe we're going to add them over here. 
maybe I just want to add two more from here, like this one. Okay, click on uh, add to gallery and here you will see that we have the main image and the product galleries and here you will see the more option is the simple product data so we're going to add the simple product data for now and later on i will show you how you can add the with the variation so for now we're going to go with the simple product and here you have to write the price of this product suppose i will say this is for the 50 dollar but you can use uh the price you can set whatever you want okay so we have added here the title and then here we have uh, the image and the gallery images then we have set here the uh, product price and here you have the more options if i click on here usually the sell price if you want to give the discount and if i click on inventory here you can manage the stock also so if you're going to click on manage the stock then you can uh, use the how many quantities you have so suppose i say i have the three for the example and the allow back orders if you want you can plus that okay and if we scroll down here a little bit more here you will see the more option product categories so uh, maybe you say this is the uh, burst let suppose um, so let me copy this one burst let so let's we say this is the not the white burst we say this is the maybe in the gold burst let burst let like that suppose just the name okay and yeah we have select the categories and here you can give the more description like this is the uh, um in this this is our premium of bus let okay and you can make it the bold okay then if you want you can give here this some bullets uh waterproof like waterproof and uh, we say the pure gold pure gold like like you can add the more whatever you want okay once it's done if you want you can add here the product url here under the need enter the youtube or video url here okay so if you want you can plus uh the product video as well okay once it's done just click on publish i just want to show you how it looks and then if i click under the view product and now you will see this amazingly you can see that we have the beautiful image here if i click on here you will see the other products are coming and if i click on here there so it's super amazing you see that all well, the gold brush light this is the uh, product name and then we have the price and then here i show you that uh, that how you can add the short description and here if we have the uh short description some bullets we can change also the color i'm going to show you that later on how we can do that and here we says like uh, hurry up only three left in the stock because we just click on the uh, manage the stock inventory so you can also show the people that how many are left Okay, so this is how this is how we can add a simple product. But now I'm going to add another product. So I'm going to show you that how you can add the variation for that product. So quickly we're going to add a few products. So uh, one we have added. Now I go back again to the dashboard, and now again I will click hover on the product, and I will click on add a new. And then here we can give the uh, product name by my we say the uh, white burst let and uh, we're going to select the image from here as we have done before so we're going to select suppose the images so this one this one this one maybe i just want to select these two i think for now okay so these are the white um let us select this this okay so first we have to select uh the featured image then we're going to add the gallery images so we're going to add the gallery images suppose three and yeah so here we can also select the bus lights and then here we see that before we have added the simple products now we're going to click on the here the simple product and we're going to click on the variable product to select this one so we can add the multiple variation 
So if you want, you can manage the stock, but now I, did, I just do, don't want to add. Then click onto the attributes here. And now we're going to add all the attributes we have so far. So suppose we have here the, uh, maybe the color. And now we're going to click on the select all color. So all the uh, variation we have in the color attributes, it will come over here. Then click on the save attributes. Okay, so we have added for the color. Now we're going to add another uh, attribute. It was the size. Okay, once done. And then now we're going to click on the select. So now we have added the value, all the values of the uh, size attribute. Uh, so this is how we can add the variations in our product. Just click on the save attributes. Once it's done, what do you have to do? you have to click on here the variation so you can also play around with the uh, different size have the different price if you want you can adjust so once you click on the variation just click on generate the variations so it will uh, once you click on on the top you will see this pop up just click on okay so this is how you can generate the different types of the uh, variation for your products here you see the black the large and the black with the medium so you can also give the different prices suppose if i have the small the black then here i can also play around with the regular price or you can give the uh the different prices for the different uh, values so suppose here we have the regular price for 80 for uh, black and small then if you want here for the black small you can give the different price okay but i just want to give the uh, the same price for all so here i will just select the add a price here on the top you will see add a price so i'm just going to add the price for all uh, add a price to all variation that don't have the price for so we're going to give the uh 40 dollar for all just click on the prices so you will see now that all the products going, variation going to have the uh added the prices so here you see that 40 for this one if we see the here you will see the 40 so all the prices will be added automatically but if you want you can change uh, one by one with the different variations so once it's done just click on uh, publish and once it's published you will see the option view so i'm just going to open in another tab so now you will see that we're going to have the different uh, color and the size here you can see that cat three color white but you can see the images are not changing with if you're going to click on the black or the red so for this if we scroll down here click on to the variations uh, variations here and now if i say the black large then you can play around to add the images upload the image so this is how you can uh, upload the image for the different variations so no matter if you have the black with the large so if someone is going to select the black uh, color and the large then you can put the different images so this is how we can do that um, okay so once it's done now we go back again to i'm just adding a new product also uh, for this one so we're going to have the, some more products let me do that quickly so quickly i have added the two more products so now we have the four products on our website but you can add uh, no matter how many products you have the way i have showed you step by step so we have added the uh, attributes categories and the products now let's move on to build uh, website pages so on the top if i click onto the dashboard so i go back again to the uh here on the home dashboard so now here you, you will see the a uh, post or usually we're going to use with the blog in the media we have the all the files we have uploaded we can see there and all the pages here you will see the if i click on all the pages now you will see the, what pages we have so whenever we're going to install a plugin the woocommerce by default we're going to have the card check out my account and shop pads and wishlist comes with the wishlist plugin so now we need to uh, add a, a page it's going to be the home page so i will click on add a new and this time i'm going to build and the design the home page so you can just watch this uh, video that how you can build the, the home page so i'm just going to give the name here the home so 
once done just click on to the publish or edit with elementor just i click on publish for now so just i want to show you first so once it's published if i click on the view i just want to show you so once you you will see like this nothing the blank white page when you're going to uh, definitely uh, create a page so what we have to do here you know, giving the after giving the home page name then you have to update or click on edit with the elementor so we can design actually the website with the elementor the plugin we have installed few minutes ago so once you just click on to edit with elementor you will see something like this pop-up i don't like the power of the elementor ai but we, we are not using the ai so let me take off this one let me zoom out and i will click on this x icon and now let me to reset again the size 90 will be fine okay so now you will see that we have here the options on the left we have the more uh widgets of the elementor that we're going to dra drag and drop over here so we can design the home page no matter just not the home page i'm going to show you step by step once you learn that how you can uh, design the home page you can design no matter no matter whatever the page you want to design on the wordpress website with the elementor so here you will see the uh option here's the plus icon then we have this uh folder icon and this one we have the ai bolt so what we will use we definitely going to uh check on this pencil plus icon and i will click on that now it's going to say what which layout would you like to use so first on the home page you know you're going to have uh the big slider video or something like that so are we going to click on the flex box let me show you we're going to cover everything here so click on this flex box and now it says select the structure so here you say the column direction and so first we go with this one okay just click on this one and now you will see that on the top just click on that on the top you will see this option we have this white space so let me to get on like that okay so yeah it has some issue i think okay that, that's it so here you can see that uh, we have the pencil icon on the top and here uh, if I click on the, this settings if I click on here and uh, I just want to make this layout with the full elemental layout so like this but definitely I just go with uh, maybe I just want to go with the uh, normal like the way it was the default okay I just want to show you something here so on the top you see that this is i cannot see so what i will do i just click on this navigator and i will click on this container from here now what i have to do here i will click on the style here you see the more options but we're going to check that later on so what i will do i will select this uh, uh content width with the full width okay and then i just want to add here some more we're going to see option later on so i will click on style here and uh, in the background type if you just click on the classic then you can add the image here whatever the image you want to add suppose i just want to give the example uh, if i go back here and i want to add this image for example but i'm going to add a video here so suppose uh, i am adding this image click on select and now you'll see this whole uh, image here okay but you can see if i click on container and click on the layout uh but what what i would like to do i will click on the settings just i want to make it again to the full width of the elementor so we're going to cover everything just click on update okay now you can see this this is how it looks on the image if i click on this here the container again and i go to the style on the top if i click and then here I will go at the layout and min height I'm just going to show like this so now you can see that this is how it looks okay this image it looks cool I think but don't worry we're going to uh, definitely make it much better so we are not using the image but if you want to use the image just you have to go to the style and whatever image you want but this is not slider image so that's why it looks not good so I'm just going to use here the uh, video so if we on the background type this is the classic the gradient and then the video so i will select on this the video and here we can add the video link okay so what i will do i am going to uh maybe uh 
going to get the video from here or maybe I'm going to use the Bixby or the Pixel. Pixel is I think good. So here I will uh, going to get the images and videos for my client free of the cost. So let me show you that how we can get a support. I'm going to select here. Um, maybe we see that the uh, building can maybe the f summer fashion. Let's see the what video we're going to see. Um, maybe I'm say the gold. A uh, woman. And I am selecting from here to the video because I just want to add the video here. Gold, <laughs> gold woman, just like the yeah. Just let's see what we get here. Okay, there are so many good videos here. There, I I I use this one. This is really so amazing website, or the Bixby, but they they have very good videos. So um, let's see what we're going to get here. Uh, I think. Oh, uh, woman. Wear gold. Let's see what we get here. Sometimes it's really hard to find good videos. Uh, let's check that that one. You know, if you're going to have the good video on your website, uh, the good images, your website looks more beautiful and amazing. So make sure when you're going to uh, build a website, uh, just make sure you have the good videos on your website. So, okay, so we have so many, but let's check that on. There is another website, it's called the Bixby. So let's we check on that one, Bixby. And let's we right here, what we get, woman, we are gold. And yeah, but yeah, here we go. We get some good videos here, I think. Uh, but not so good. Gold jewelry, maybe the jewelry I have to write here. Jewelry wear, I think. Yeah, uh, I think this one. And we have to select from here to the videos. And let me check, copy that. And for here, I also just want to add the jewelry wear. Click on enter. Uh, what should I have to add? I think. I just want to make sure everything is much uh, better. Maybe I just want to add this video, I think. Okay, so you can add the video, whatever you have, but really I like this one. So I want to use this click on to the free download. So I will go with maybe uh, full HD, I think. Yeah, I, I like that. Just click on download. And yeah, it's just download. So I will open this website. Click on to here the update. And uh, just remove this one. Not this. Just click on this three dots and click on exit. And click on to select the WP dashboard. Click on apply. I just want to show you something here. So we can add. So just go here to the media library, click on this one, I'll add a new library, but I'm just click on library. And here I have download the video. So I will just put here. So we're going to add the link. So if I visit the site in another tab, let me take off this one, all things. Okay, so now you, so you see this is all X, but we go back again to the dashboard and click on here, uh, all the pages. And here you will see that we have a the page home. So here you can edit or you can direct edit with Elementor. So we're going to click on it with Elementor. So now it's opening with Elementor. So here video is uh, already uh, uploaded. Let me show you. So here you can see that uh, we cannot see this on the top, this grid. So what I have to do, just, uh, just click on the, this one, uh, navigator and click on the container. And now you will see this pop up and I will just click on to the go with the uh, I think I will go with style, click on, I just make sure to uh, make the height zero. So later on, we check that how it looks. Just click on go to the style. And now we're going to select the video and uh, here you will have to put the video link. So I have already this link. So 
video then click on that video and copy this link just copy it and come back here and paste here the video link like this now you will see uh the video is playing but click on this layout so we're going to give the height so let's check the white water height we're going to give that uh, i think maybe i just want to give the 400 or something 500 will be fine i think let me check that 500 yeah 500 it looks cool i think i think i like i like that it looks good yeah well maybe i just want to give the 500 60 yeah this this looks much cooler yeah i love that how to see on the top how it looks more beautiful and clean the header and this the video amazing okay once it's done just click on to the update okay so we have added a video but if you want to add here some of the text or the button you can do that so what you have to do on the top of elementor you will see these uh nine dots click on this here and now if you want to add the heading some text here in the video you can put that here just take heading and drop over here and on the top you will see maybe i just want to say best selling no uh, premium get premium uh <laughs> what i have I uh, get premium of uh, gold stuff here. So you can see that on the top we have this uh, text, but what we can do here, uh, we can uh, change this uh, text color to white. So what we can do that here, just click on the style and here you will see the text color so by default if you're going to click you will see this all the color but i want to add the white color so i will click on this one and here i'm just going to add the color name is f f f so it's going to be the white and uh, i just want to give it this name also so i will write here the white and i will click click on the create okay so you can see that this looks very amazing cool but it's it's on the top i will show you that how we can uh, make it to here somewhere so what you have to do to get this one here in the center and the needs you will see here the navigator just click on that one and go on the click on here the container and now you will see this layout so we scroll down here you see the uh atom direction is to down right and here we say that uh justify the content so we're just going to make the center now you can see that from the top it comes to the center center so if you can click end it will go the down so we're just going to make in the center okay right like here but if you want to make the more center so we can place the space here and then we click on the center like this on the top of the center then this center so this is how it looks okay but uh really I, I like on the left i think like this one i like this one okay but click on this pencil icon and go to the here the typography and here you can change the uh, family font as well and the size so i just want to increase the size of this one from here i just want to make this little bit more bigger like this one how it looks i think it looks good but what what i can do here here i just click on this pencil icon and on the right i just want to give it uh, some pending so so we're going to get the gold something here so for the right i'm just going to give the pending of the maybe 140 like this let's see how it looks um maybe what well, uh maybe i just want to give it a one 250 like this let's see how it looks yeah, it looks cool. We'll get the premium gold stuff here. Okay, but what I can do, click on this navigator, click the container, and go to the style. And uh, here, click on the background overlay, 
and here classic and I just want to make it a little bit more darker this video so I will do that like this a little bit more darker darker and then we can do like this to play around with that color so this is how it looks now I think this looks cool I get a premium gold but if you believe, if you if you will ask me that, I don't like the text to put here. But if you want, you can do that. And I will click on this on the top, uh, nine dots. And here, if I will scroll down a little bit more, here you will see the option of the button. Video, here we got the button. So we're going to take this one. Okay, but it's come over again. So let me delete this, let me show you again. So we're going to take this button and we're going to put here. Now you will see that we have the button. Okay, so for that, uh, we're going to maybe add here. We can write shop now, whatever you want. We can write, but I write here shop from here. Show from here. So you can see that it looks more cool. And if you want, we can do that to make around here. So and if I click on this one. And I go to the style and I can click around the center. But actually, I don't like uh, this tag, so I will just take off this color from here. So, what I will do is just click on this right pencil icon and click on the delete and right pencil icon and delete. So, really, I don't like to add the uh, text on the video. I just want to make it to be uh, only the video on the hero section. But if you want, you can put the, around the, some, uh, the text and the uh, button but actually i don't like so it lets me to uh take off this overlay from the video and click on update okay so once it's done if we if i take off this url and i just write only the domain and uh yeah so now you can see that if i have right here the uh home page and then if i visit the website this goes just go away so what i have to do just go to the dashboard and scroll down here all the way here you will see the in the bottom the settings just click on to here the reading and now we're going to select the home page as the home page so what you have to do, your home page just select a uh, uh, static page and then here we're going to uh, show whatever the page you want to show the people the home page on your website so we're going to select the home is as the home page when it's done just click on the save changes so now if we visit the site visit our domain now we're going to see this the home page as the home page but on the top you see we cannot see the uh, pages but i will show you that later on how we can add that okay so we have the video so now let's add another thing but before we're going to add this other stuff i just want to uh, show you that something else just click on edit with elementor there is uh, another cool free plugin uh, we're going to add so if i scroll down here you will see the elementor pro these all options are the log so uh, let me show you that how we can unlock uh, so we can just add uh, an alternative plugin is the pro element so we just write here the pro element and here just click on to the pro elements and we're going to download this one and this plugin is uh, free and here you can write that it's the free wordpress plugin that's enable the pro features in elementor uh, page builder with the automatic ad updates um, it's the you can see that it is the uh, pro elements uh, direct work from the Elementor Pro WordPress plugin by Elementor LD. Like the original, it is licensed under the uh, GNU uh, public license, and but unlike the original, it is 100% free and does not require the activation to use. So yeah, you are free to use and modify and uh, redistribute it. In other words, you are free to use that. Okay, so. Once it is downloaded, so what we have to do, uh, go back again to the WordPress dashboard. So I will just click on this pencil icon, click on the exit. And now I will hover on the plugins and I will click on uh, add a new plugin. Okay, once it's done, just click on the top, upload a plugin because we have downloaded uh, from the website. So on the top, you will see here. So I'm just going to take and drop here, pro elements and click on install now. And once it's activated, you will see that we're going to have the more features on Elementor. So we can build more uh, amazing website with some 
cool effects so let's just click on activate the plugin uh, this video is going to be a little bit more longer as usual because you know i just want to show you step by step all the things so we're going to cover in this tutorial so okay once we uh, install the pro element now if i visit the site let me show you and i will just take off this uh, other tabs like this one like this one and yeah so here we are on the website so click on edit with elementor and now we're going to add maybe the latest product or something okay so now i'm just doing this navigator now i scroll down here now you will see another uh plus icon click on here now i just want to take only one uh structure the column just click on this one now uh, and i want to add here the animated heading so if i will scroll down here you will see that we have unlocked the pro elements so we scroll down here and now you can see that we have the more options you scroll down a little bit more and then here we get the animated heading so i will click on here and now you can see that this page is amazing so what we have to do just uh i'm just going to write here the this page is uh, amazing i will see uh our latest maybe i will say let uh latest products latest and uh, i will write here the products underneath products okay and uh, yeah that's it so here you will see that uh it has the circle so i will just take the uh circle not to make it the underline maybe a double underline like this one it looks cool and now it's here in the left we're going to take this one on the center so for that we're going to click on this uh between uh six dots edit the container now you will see the all the settings here set the atom size so it's already uh, right direction so we're going to make the center so now it's in the center now if i click on this pencil icon here now i'm going to install it so i will go here to the style and then you can see that we can change the shape color also and uh, we can also change something here like the latest and the product so click on the heading and here we can change the text color of the heading so i will click under the here and maybe i just want to make the color like this one this color but actually i have another color plus why so i wanted that so i will add this color let me to copy this copy this color and uh, i just want to add this color here and now i just want to add this color as the uh, my maybe i'm a fave color fave color i just want to set that this color click on the create and now we have this so if i click on the here typography here and it's the robot but uh, for now i just want to hit the mod straight i think more straight this one yeah it looks cool more clean and i may yeah i think this is fine and then here we scroll to the animated text see this one is animated text so we're going to use this color for the black let's see if we have here so here we go just i'm going to take this the black okay this looks cool but here we say it's the robot but i just want to make the more straight for this one so you can search whatever the font family you want and you can see this color uh the red one so if i'll click on the shape here so i just want to change this color as well so we're going to take uh click on this uh global icon by default so we i have a uh, the color favorite color so i want to add this one but i just want to make a little bit more uh you know it has a little bit more bigger so i just want to make it the little bit similar like this one maybe i just want to give the one maybe one like this out of two yeah two looks much clean i think latest product maybe you can write here our latest product uh but i have just written this latest product for that okay just click on update make sure you have to click on to the update so your content will be updated here 
okay so we have uh, the latest product so now i will show you that how we can add the products here so again click on this uh, on the top you will see uh nine dots click over there so now you will going to be the element of the home section so we're going to click on here the this uh plus icon add a new canton uh container then we're going to select the grid out of are the flex box so we're going to click on the flex box here and we're going to check this time whatever you want but i will go with this one this direction the uh, right for now so here you will see you can do the more settings here but i will click on this uh option so on the top so we're going to go to elementor uh widget area so now here i can write the product suppose i write here the product product so here you can see the product option here so we're going to take this one and we're going to drop here simple and now you can see that we can see all the products here it's very amazing you can see that it's cool so we have the four products we have added and here you can we can also arrange the how many columns you want to let the people see the four columns and if you're going to say the three so there will be three columns and four rows like this one four rows but i just want to make the people to show be the four so yeah the, there will be the four products okay i think yeah it looks pretty good and if we're going to click on the query then we can do by source how many well like uh, the feature product you want to add the cell or the feature whatever you want and you can include the terms okay you will get a lot of the more things but uh definitely i like this one so i will keep only the four products and because we have already the four product but if you want you can put maybe uh maybe the uh you can do that uh, four rows so maybe you can do that for later on but i just want to make the one row and the four columns so in the columns we have the four products you can see one two three four and we have the one row but if you have the more products maybe you want to show the uh, more products you can, you can do that here okay so this is how you can do that if you want you can click on the pagination so you can do the slider or all the other stuff but definitely we just want to show this one and click on update so once you stop that so you can see that but if you want to see the changes you have done before uh, the uh, exit from the elementor you just have to click on this preview changes just click on that and now you will see uh, the what the changes you have done so far so we have the video then we have added the latest product and then we have this products section so i just want to on the top if i click on this uh between the container and i will go to the advanced i just want to give some pending on the top uh maybe the margin maybe i just want to give them pending on the top so on the top we're going to add some pending maybe i just wanted a 50 so we have the some space in the bottom i just want to get the 20 so little bit we're going to have the space okay just click on update okay and then uh on the top we're going to add this uh click on this uh nine that second so we got the elementary uh widget area and then here i just want to add another image uh, so i will just click on here and i will select the uh this this structure from out of down and now i will click on between these six dots and now we can play around here but i will first go to the style and here i just want to add the image so i will click on this here the classic and uh, i will click on the choose image and i want to add this image for now okay i like that and now we're going to see that what we can do here we're going to full resolution image fine the position i just want to make the maybe the centered and uh, maybe i just maybe i just want to uh, left center let's see what we can say left center uh left center okay so yeah i i, I like that and now uh, here you will see that option it is the, it's the display so we're going to set the cover okay and what else we can do yeah we go back again to the click on the layout so we can play around with the height here we go we said that like this one 
okay click on the style and uh, let's reset the content how it looks and if i click on to the repeat none let's see how it looks like okay so we say the repeat none and then we say the auto our cover okay so this is how it looks but we're going to make this more bit more amazing okay so let's see yeah it's good i think it's good and uh, here we're going to say the scrolling effect just click on this one to on that and we're going to make the uh vertical scrolling let's see that how it looks the vertical is not look so we're going to make the uh make the like this one and we're going to say the horizontal and now you will see that this is how it looks if i come back here this is how it looks it's, it looks i think so cool i like that effect and maybe i just want to make the center center position and uh, maybe we just say the right center okay yeah that's it i think so we have this cool effect and now i just want to add here some text discover i will add the heading take the heading and drop here and like we did before just click on this uh six dots and then we're going to click on the layout and we're going to justify the content so we click on the center okay so this is on the center now and click on this pencil icon and then we're going to add here the color so if i now i just want to make it the white and here we say discover this cover premium products and yeah discover premium products and yeah if you want to play around go to the style and in the type in the typography you can do that other stuff so i just want to give the 50 uh five like this and like that and if i click on this six dots and the style and i will scroll down here i will go to the background overlay and click on the cla uh, classic and i just want to make it a little bit more darker i like like this one i think okay and uh, yeah i just want to adhere that subheading also uh, maybe i just wanted the adding here and I will say here the view more products here. So I just want to make the hair to go to style, change the color. I will make it this one also white. But for now, I will just make it the Roboto and I will make the 21 like this. And uh, I will do this the normal like that and i will add a button so i will scroll down here the more widgets i will take the button here from here i will take off here and now we can add here the some color combination if you want so maybe i like to add here click on here and i will write here the a text uh, i want to change here to shop i will say discover discover more like this and here you can add the uh, link so maybe I just want to add here the shop I will write here so automatically you will see the you can have the link or you write the whatever the page you want to link here I will click on the shop and now go to the style and uh, yeah for the text uh, in the typography we we're going to make a little bit more uh, maybe I just want to make 21 i like this one yeah that's cool uh what else i want to do uh i just want to make this color the normal uh the white and uh yeah that's it and uh shadow i just want to give it the shadow like this one and uh, the normal text color is uh white right the background color i just want to make it the uh i want to change the, this color uh if i scroll down it my favorite color this one and uh, 
when hover over someone, as I said, just when hover over someone, the mouse here, I want the color should be the black. I like this. Okay, it's cool. I think it's cool. I like that. So once done, just click on update. And if you want to display the more products here, we can do the same uh, from here. So what we have to do, just click on this uh, six doors scope and, and uh, yeah, just not just click. Just click on, suppose click on this the six dots. Okay, and now you have to click on the right mouse and copy this once to copy it. And then here on the plus icon, just click on here and again, click on the right mouse and click on the paste. So now you will see that you don't read, uh, you, you don't need to redesign again all the stuff. You can copy the the thing you have designed already, then you can post over here. So I just maybe share, I say the, click on this pencil icon and uh, here I will say, um, best seller. So here you can add the best seller products as well, our best seller. So maybe I write here our best. And the for the same, uh, we can copy this section, just like this one, copy. And I will just click on here, the paste here. Now you can see that. And here, click on the pencil icon, and then you can uh, add the queries, like whatever the product you want to show. Okay, this is so simple to do. And once it's done, so we have created the beautiful sections. And if you want to add more here, like the about us and other things, you can do that. You click on here, do sections, and here you can add. But for now, we could, we, we don't need to add this one, so click on update. And now, if I visit the site, let me to click on the exit. And now if I visit the site, now you see that we have added a beautiful video, then we scroll down here, you will see the latest products and the products, and here you can see the beautiful uh, section here with uh, with uh, the animated, uh, you can see it's gold here. Amazing, then we have the products. So let's build the footer here again, and then we're going to build other pages. Uh, also, I just want to show you that, how we can do that. Okay, so, yeah, um, let's let's do that. Actually, this, uh, what should we have to create now? Uh, by the way, this is how easy to build a website nowadays. And again, I will say you, if you are watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, so uh, let's let's we build a footer. Then we go forward to how we can add the other stuff here on the uh, navigator, like the. Uh, logo, but let, let me to show you that how we can add that, that one before we're going to die into the footer section how we can build. So if I go back again the dashboard and I go back again to visit the site, I just want to show you now something else. Uh, so before we go there, well, uh, again, I go back to the dashboard and here we're going to uh, hover on the appearance, click on the menus because I just want to show you that how we can add the uh, menus our pages in the header so here we says however then here you says to add the menu name so we're going to add the primary menu we're going to give the name whatever you want to give the name for the menu so i just give the primary menu for the header and then we say this is going to be the primary menu okay and then we're going to say that this is the mobile menu also but for now just leave it as it is just click click on the create a menu and now we can add the, all the pages in the header. So here you will see, click on the view all. So here we have the home. I just want to add the home page and I want to add the show page. For now, we're going to add the two pages. So here you can set, after clicking here, you will see these pages came over here. But if you want to change the uh, the, uh, the arrangement, just take this on the top on top or take this here. So once you're done, click on the save menus. And now if I visit the site, now you will see that we have the home, the shop. This is really cool. Okay, I want to show you that how we can add the logo here. So for this on the top, you will see this option, customize, click on this customize. 
and here we're going to click on the site identity so here you will see the option the logo so we can click on this one and uh, you can upload the logo you have so i have already a logo i'm going to add this one my jewelry and once added just click on the select and maybe we say the skip so we're going to have the logo here on the top let's see that okay so this is looks bigger so here we can uh, arrange the width of the logo so we're going to say maybe we take like the like this one i think i like that yeah 182 uh, so here you can see how this logo looks like on the uh PC. So if you want to see how it looks on that tablet view, so we can arrange also this one to like this one. So this is how it's going to be look like on the uh, on the version of the index uh, in the tablet. So click on here to the mobile view. So let's see how logo looks like on the mobile, and then we can also play around here. So let's let's make this 100 is good. Just click on publish. Okay, once you're done, just click on this uh, desktop version. So I just want to show you also other thing that how Elementor works on the mobile phone version as well. So once it's published, and now we go back again to the here, that arrow icon. And now we're going to click on the color so we can change the color of theme. So I like actually the uh, theme color. Uh, I love this one. This, this uh, I think, this is my favorite color. So I'm adding here this color. But whatever the color you want to add, you can add here. Okay, I like that. This looks cool. And yeah, text color. I just want to make the black. Like this. And yeah, that's it, I think so. For the link, however, the blue is good, I think. And uh, we go back here. The button color, if you want, you can change that. But I want to keep it as it is and uh, yeah if you go to the layout we go to the normal header and here you can see the more options for the header if i click on go to the design we can also play around with the design but i like the way it is it looks much better and the home i just want to increase some size of the home so uh for that uh, if i go to the side container i think not not there if i scroll down here and if i go here the uh maybe i'll go back again here and i will go to the typography here and i go to the primary menu the headings for the primary menu i just want to make sure uh the width is going to be maybe 600 and i just want to make the primary menu font size maybe i like this one uh 25 is good i think 23 i like this okay this is how can we can increase the font size for the menu just click on publish i click on this x icon okay so now you see this looks more professional and amazing on the home we have this one and yeah i like that i think but another thing we can do let me show you that how it looks on the mobile phone more than just click on it with uh, elementor so we go uh before we get to go further i just want to show you that how it looks on the mobile and then how we can I make some uh, adjustment for the mobile phone view. So under the niche, you will see here the option uh, in the Elementor. Yeah, click on this one, Responsive Moon, and now we go with uh, again to the um, here on the top. It is the say the mobile phone view and desktop uh, the tablet view. Just click on the tablet view. So you see on the top we have the bigger logo, but we have changed. But it looks like that. No worries. We're going to see later on. This is how it looks the video on the desktop is cool and we scroll down here the products are also fine and yeah three products they are showing yeah that's good and yeah here here everything is fine for the for the tablet view so well, now we click on the mobile phone view and now you see that on the mobile uh okay my, my god we cannot see the video so let's click on this navigator click on the top here and go to the style Okay, so we have already here the video, but maybe it's not displaying because you need to see this option we have not enabled. Play once or the player on the mobile, so it is dis, uh, disabled, so that's why it's not playing on the mobile. So we're just going to click on the play on the mobile, so now you will see the video comes up. So make sure when you're going to add a video uh, on your 
website make sure uh, in the mobile phone version this is uh, enable check this mark to sure this is the uh, enable okay so if we scroll down here we have the latest product right but uh, yeah let me click on pencil icon here go to the style and go to the heading and whatever the changes you are going to make in the mobile phone version for the text it will not affect the desktop view so i just make going to 21 or maybe i just want to increase to the I think like this. Okay, it looks cool. Latest product and uh, white has. Okay, so we go back again to here the latest product and if I click on the very thin, it's the normal. I think uh, it should be like the medium, like this. Yeah, cool. Click on update and we scroll down here. You see this uh, premium products. It looks cool. I think yeah, fine. And there is a bestseller. Just click on this pencil icon, go to the style, and go to the heading line. And then here we're going to adjustment like we just want to make 26. 28 will be fine, I think. Yeah, like 30 is good, our product, our bestseller. And then click on update. So this is how we're going to make the changes in the desktop and the tablet view and the mobile phone version on Elementor. Okay, once it's done, um, so now let's go to uh, next part of the video. I just want to show you that how you can add uh, the footer in the website. So I will just click on here to exit. Now I just want to show you something. If I click on visit the site and yeah, I will just click on the shop. In the shop, you will see the all the products. Nice. I will show you the, how we can put this, uh, take off these things and we can to, uh, put some other things here later on. So let me read the footer first and then I'm going to show you other thing also. So now we go back again to here to the dashboard. And now for the footer, what we have to do, uh, we have to scroll down here all the way and here you will see the templates under the Elementor, this one. So what do you have to do? Just hover over on it and take this one, click on add a new. Once it's done, here you have to select the choose the template type. So we're going to select the footer and here you're going to give the whatever the footer name you want to give. So I just want to give the footers for the site and create the template. So uh, we're going to design the footer for the website and uh, I will show you that how you can do that. So we can add the blocks, but we're going to build from the sketch. Just click on this X icon. And now uh, I'm going to add the column here. So I will take the two or maybe the two columns and I will add the one more column. So I need the three columns so far to design this. So I will take this, I will take a container. I will just duplicate it. And now we have the three. So on the top, I will just click on this one and I will go to the style. And I just want to make it the black. I think I like the black color, mostly like this, the black. Okay, and here I just want to add the image. Maybe I, I can add the site logo. Let's see how it looks. Site logo. It, it just looks a little bigger, but let me see. Make it the, like the uh, medium. Make the thumbnail. It's the bigger, so we're just going to take off this one. So we're going to write here maybe the, the about. So we're going to head right here the heading we're going to tag. And we say the heading and we write here the about. And we're going to go to the style and we're going to make the center and the text color. I just want to make the black, uh, right, uh, the white one from here. Okay, so for the typography, I just want to make the 21 and I will increase to, yeah, 30. I think, I think, yeah, I like this one. I just want to make the 26 is fine, I think. And uh, I want to make this normal, like this one. And uh, yeah, for about, and I will just click on this uh, section to go to Elementor home page, the home uh, visit areas. And here I will take the content from here, the text content, and, and, and I will take under the here. 
So we're going to write here whatever you want, but uh, uh, I don't want to write here something. Just click on the style and go to the here the color you want to in for the text. So I will click on the white color. And uh, yeah, you can increase the size, but I just want to copy and paste. But you can add the information of your country, of about your website. And we're going to click on the style and we're going to make the center. And yeah, if I click on to the this pencil icon here, and uh, if you want, click on to here the typography. Uh, you can change the uh, family font and the text also. I just want to make the 13 or the 16 is fine. Okay, so we have the so uh, before we get into publish, let's click, let's add more section here. This is about, so I will just duplicate this one and I will write here the quick links. Suppose quick links. Uh, key U I S C K quick links, but you can add the more links. But if you have, but we have only create the event uh, menu. But you can add here some other pages. So click on this one here on the go to Elementor menu. So we're going to select here the menu, uh, right here the menu. So we have the uh, WordPress menu. So we're going to take this and take off here under the underneath. So you can see that, but we're going to uh, style it. Just click on this pencil icon and we say we're going to make the vertical. And now we're going to click on the alignment should be the center and there should be no pointer under line. So we select a none and uh, the breakdown it says for this one. So we set the none for that also. And yeah, for the icon, we don't use that. So now we go to the style. And now we're going to select the uh, text color. I just want to make it the black or the white, I think. Yeah, the white. Okay. And then here we can select the uh, families, the uh, for the uh, footer, we have the Roboto. So we're going to select the Roboto and we're going to give it this one 20. Oh, uh, let's, let's not 21. We're going to make maybe the 16 like this. Yeah, it looks good. Maybe the, uh, we're going to set a medium. Okay, it's cool. And it has a little bit more space. We have the two pages for now. So for that, click on this menu and then we say here the vertical pending. So we're going to uh, give a little bit of space like this one. Okay, this looks cool. And when someone is hover, just click on this one, hover. So we're going to say the text color can be like uh, my favorite color, like this one. Okay, cool. And here we're going to also duplicate this one. Click on the right mouse and click on the duplicate. And then we're going to take this uh, widget area heading to put here. And here we can say uh, join our premium club. Join our premium. So we can give them uh, maybe the sign up or something option here for the subscribe. Um, join our premium. Right. Meum club like this okay and uh, here we can put the text like uh, like with that let me to duplicate this one duplicate and we're going to take this and we're going to put underneath here i have the text for that i'm going to write here then subscribe our newsletter i post for this one okay ss and we're just going to duplicate that one one time subscribe for to get whatever you want to write you can do that okay i just want to um duplicate that okay so, so maybe i just want need to take off this one subscribe for our latest new journal and going to get subscribe to our newsletter for 50 percent off okay the schools and now we're going to write here the uh, set the form if or me form and we're going to put this form under the underneath here and now we're going to design that so just click on this pencil icon and take off this uh, message and the name so we're going to have only the email and yeah that's it so for this we're going to select here um yeah that's just go to the style and uh, we're going to change the button click on the button and the button background color here you will see the background button color we're going to change the my favorite color here i have added 
and when someone is going to hover over uh, I just want to make sure this color uh, should be like uh, like this one I think yep uh, maybe not, not not like that my favorite color but I just want to make it a little bit more darker here so when someone hover it looks like that okay so yeah it looks I think cool but on the top we have the more space so how we can take off that click on to the advanced and we say that no margin no margin like that and yeah I think that's it for now let's see what we have under the gaps row and we say in the row uh, we just said there should be no gap like that okay so it's, it looks I think so cool here yeah so people can subscribe and if you want to add here the underneath if you want to add uh, some social icon we can do that just click on this uh, widget area to go to the uh, element home and here search the social and then we can take this to underneath here there we go and uh, we're going to make the maybe the circle like this one I like that there we go but yeah we're going to give the some pending if I click on this one and I will say the column uh, should to have maybe 10 space I think the row I think acting the row let's say yeah they should have the 10 or 20 was the default so we're going to make the 20 so they have the little bit of space okay this looks cool so now I click on this pencil icon on the social media icon and then here go to the style and we're going to change the custom color and I like the color like the primary color um, my favorite one and then yeah that's it and uh, let, let, let's we reduce the size of this one let's make it uh, maybe 16 will be fine for that let's check yeah 16 just click on the pencil icon and uh, yeah that's it and yeah click go to the content click there so we can add the links the Facebook uh, link at here if you want to add the new just click on add the new so you can add the more okay that's cool so once it's done just uh, let, 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 let's see how it looks on the mobile the filters just click on here to response to moon and then click on this uh, tablet view so let's see um, yeah it looks cool uh, there's nothing to change just click on this mobile version uh, yeah definitely fine once it's done just click on to the publish and click on add a condition and now we're going to say entire site yeah that's cool and click on the save changes and close and once it's done uh, yeah it's live so what we can do is just click on this uh, on the top you will see this as uh, three dots click on there click on the exit and yeah we are on the dashboard now if I visit the site let me close this all the tabs if I visit the site and now on the top we have the beautiful header but uh, maybe I just wanted to uh, reduce this uh, size of the font but now it looks cool if I scroll down here we'll see that we have this beautiful uh, wishlist icon then we have yeah it looks very good if I scroll down here here we have the beautiful footer okay on the top maybe we should to give some the painting so what we can do here if I however on the top you will see the footer just I will click on that and on the top I just want to give the painting so it looks cool on the top we're going to select this uh, on the top uh, this six digits click on there and click on the style and now or not the style just, just go sorry just go to the advanced and then here you have to unlock the uh, values and now on the top we just want to give it maybe 50 maybe maybe 60 will be fine 60 and uh, yeah let me should see this one I just want to take off this one this looks very bigger I think it's fine and click on update so we have on the top some painting just click on here and uh, click on the exit again and now we visit the site and now if I scroll down here you will see that on the top we have some crap okay so uh, yeah if I click on this one you will see this cool so yeah this looks cool amazing and then now let, let, let's I think I, I need to just reduce some font size so if I go to customize because it looks a little bit more bigger font so we're going to go to the typography and we go to the primary menu and uh, here we says the uh, maybe 400 
this last year, I think. And uh, we set the font size 20. And not very into that. Uh, maybe we say it's 200. Uh, maybe maybe uh, 300 is fine, I think. And yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I think. Uh, for fan and uh, font size, yeah. Click on publish. Click on this X icon. Okay, so now it looks cool. I like that. And now if I go on the shop, I just want to show something here. You see that we have the something. Uh, we cannot see the categories in the left bar. So we're going to fix that. So we're going to take up this one. So for that, just click on the customize to go to, uh, on the show page. And we're going to go in the layout. And now if we scroll down here, you will see the option, the sidebar. Click on there. So we said on the shop, here we said the uh, archive shop. So we say there should be this sidebar on the left side. Okay, so select that. So now we're going to have the sidebar on the left side. Okay, that's cool. Now click on go back again to here. And now uh, we're going to go back again to the, uh, I think, uh, yeah, just click on this pencil, uh, this the arrow on the top. And now go to the WooCommerce. And here you will see the uh, shop archive. And here you see the, all the other stuffs. Okay, again, I go back again to the, I think, uh, in the widgets area. And uh, here you will see the WooCommerce sidebar. Click there. And now we're going to add uh, the the other stuff here. Uh, suppose I just want to add here the category. Yeah, you can see that. And on the top, maybe I want to add a shop if I write here the price. Suppose I want to write the price. And you will filter by the price, you're going to get this one. So I just want to make this, should be on the top, like this. Show filter by price. And uh, maybe I want to add here the search. Search the product. So we're going to take this one. And uh, I will keep this on the top. So we will set as go on the top on the top like this okay once it's done just we're going to click on publish and now click on the x icon and now you see that we have the beautiful uh, sections here it looks cool i think yeah it's amazing then another thing i just want to show you that if i click on the customize and i just want to show you how it looks on the mobile phone and click on this one the mobile phone view now you can see that we see one product, but I just want to make the two product, two product, two product products actually should to be display here. So for that we go to WooCommerce here, and then we go to the product catalog, and then we scroll down all the way. Here you see the product per row in the mobile phone version. We say we want to add a two, like this. Now it looks see the cool, amazing. I like that. So just click on publish. and click on this X icon. And yeah, this looks cool. So we have the bracelet and the chance, but we want to put here the sh under the shop, we want to put the categories for that we can go back again to WordPress dashboard. And here, just hover on the menus. And on the top, we have to select the skin options. And here we're going to select the product categories, select that and now close this one and scroll down all the way. Here you will see the product uh, category. So we're going to check this and add to the menu. And now we're going to take this uh, bracelets here. You have to uh, drag it to the right side and like the chain as well. So it will go the, under the shop. So now click on the save menu. And now if I visit the site, and now if I hover the shop, if I click on the bracelets, now you will see this one. Okay, it's it's really cool. And then we have here also, but actually I don't like that. Uh, so yeah, for that, maybe you want to add a new uh, uh, menu. So I will do that later on, I, let me show you. So let's we quickly add some more pages. So if I go back again to the WordPress dashboard and uh, we're going to add the, uh, click on the all the pages. 
and now I just want to add a new pages about us and uh, the way I have showed you how you can add the widgets you can do that so click on about us about click on publish and definitely you can uh, edit with Elementor so you can design the about page once it's done you will see this is how it looks but you can edit with Elementor so click on edit and edit with Elementor so you can design the about page okay simple and then we're going to shortcut leave we can also create the, another page here click on the page and then now we're going to uh, create another page it can be the contact page and click on publish I just want to show you that how we can add a content page uh, design on the website so view all okay so you can see that on the top we have we cannot see these uh, pages so I will show you that how we can do that so if I go back again the web website so let's we add uh, the some pages on the header you will see because we have already added the home and about and recently we have added the uh, about and contact page so let's we add these pages on the top and we're going to design them step by step so for this we go back again to the wordpress dashboard and here we will scroll down and we will going to find the menus here on the uh, appearance so you're going to have to click on hover on the appearance and click on here the menus and now we're going to add here the more pages the recently we have added here the contact and about just mark them and click on to add menu so these pages will be added here so i will just make the about on the top here and i will just click on the save menu and now if i visit the site in another tab you will see that we have uh, successfully added uh, more pages on our header so this is how you can create the new pages and you can add on the header so let's start from the about so we're going to uh, design the about page and i will click on uh, edit page and then we're going to click on edit with elementor so we can design the pages with elementor so now you can see that uh, on the top you will see edit with elementor click on that and now we're going to have the same layout like we uh, designed the home page now you can see that we have here the uh, page and then on the left we have the elemental layout uh, a widget panel so we can take all the widgets from elementor to the page so suppose I, I just want to take from here a banner first I just want to uh, take this texture one column like this one And now I'm going to add here the image. So I will click on the uh, navigator here and I will click on the container and I will go to the style and I will select this time the classic. And now I'm going to add the image on the top. Uh, so I'm going to upload the image from my PC. So here we go. Uh, maybe I just want to use this image. And once it is uploaded, then we're going to put on the uh, main banner image like on the about us page. Let's say so once it's uh, uh, uploaded, just click on the select. Now you can see that on the top we have the image. So let's we click on to uh, position. So we're going to rearrange some settings. The position should be the center. And uh, we say the cover like this. And now we go to the layout. And now we're going to increase the min height. I think uh, 380 will be fine like this. And yeah, you can see that we have here, you can see that we have the some space. So for that, what we have to do is go to in the settings and make sure uh, page layout is the full element of width. Then once it's done, just click on update. And then now you will see that it have the full uh space of the image there will be no space of the painting white like the white so it's going to take the full width okay that's cool and now here if you want to add something here we can put that maybe you want to add the heading like this one and uh, like uh, i have told you that uh if you want to make the center this one you have to go to the uh, navigator and click on the container and then you have to make sure the content justify is centered and if you want to make it the from the center like this one so this will come center and if you're going to uh, uh, text alignment like the align 
item so you have to click on the center so this will come here so uh, let's we give the name uh, about us and let's we uh, color it because it's black so click on the style and here we can play around with the color so we're going to make the uh, white and here in the typography we can always uh, uh, let me to make the more straight formally and uh, yep here we go and here you can increase the size like 45 i just want to make like this okay it looks cool and uh, we can to take the more sections here if you want to add like uh, we need the uh, two columns where we can put the uh, image and uh, another side we can put the uh, information of our business so we need to take the two columns for now from here so here on the first column we're going to add the image and the next we're going to add the text so suppose here i put here the image if you have the video you can put that as well from here so here we're going to add the uh, image suppose uh, let me take this image just the example i am adding and uh, for the heading we're just going to take this heading to here and we're going to put here and uh, now we're going to uh, color it. So suppose I go to the style and I just want to make sure this color should be like my favorite color. And I just want to make it the centered. And here I will write the about. About company. Like that. And uh, yeah, I'll, again, I will click on those on the top nine dots and then I will be elementor. Uh, widget area so i want to add a more text here so for this i will scroll down in the basic you will see text editor so i'm taking this widget and i'm going to put under the underneath here and now you can see that we're going to put the more text so i will just copy this and i am just adding so you can add your information okay i'm just let me to best best and uh, if i'll go to the style we can play around with the uh, size so i will make it the 16 or 17 uh, 70 is fine and we're going to make this one also center so click on this pencil icon and click on the center here alignment center here you go and on the top if you want to give the some pending click on this uh, container edit click on that one and go to the advanced and give the pending on the top so we're going to give that pending on the top maybe uh, 30 uh, 30 maybe maybe 50 will be fine the 50 and in the bottom if you want to give the panning then in the bottom also we give the 50 like this so we have the space between uh on the top and in the bottom okay and that's it so this is how we can uh design the about us patch then click on update and if i click on to the exit uh, go to the top this uh, on the top, you will see these uh, three uh, slides. Just click on that and click on the exit. And now if we visit the site. And now if I click on about. Now you will see that we have designed this beautiful patch. And now let's get started with the contact form. The contact page. So click on the content. And now I will click on edit the page. And now we're going to design the contact page so uh, we're going to go with edit with elementor because whenever you want to design the page uh, you have to click on the edit and then edit with elementor so you can design the uh, website layout or the page layout with elementor so as uh, same i'm just going to take this time the one container flex box and i'm going to take this one structure and uh, i will go to here the navigator and i will click on the container here and I will go to the style and in the style I'm just going to select the classic and I'll choose the image and I will uh, take the image from let's see what image I have I will go to the desktop and uh, uh, maybe I just want to use this image as well I like that I uh, we had already this okay and uh, yeah so I will click on this x icon so i can see that and before you can see that let me show you if i close this panel icon you can see that on the top we have this gap so for that uh we go to the layout and uh, maybe just like we did with the height 400 something like that 
Okay, we go by Gagarin dice tile, and we're going to make the position should be the centered, and we said the uh, display should be cover. Okay, and uh, I will click on the settings under the neat here, bottom of the Elementor uh, widget area, and I will make sure I will make the page layout Elementor full. Wall. So make sure when you're going to uh, design the website with Elementor, make sure you're going to select the page layout full with Elementor. So you're going to see not the space between uh, from the left to right. So you're going to have the full area of the uh, page so you can edit. So now if we see that, you will see no gap. So it's take the full. Okay, so once it's done, just click on update. And the same here, we're going to put the heading widget here. And the same, we go uh, to the style and we're going to click on the center. If we cannot do that for that, we click on the navigator again, container, and then go to the layout. And here we're going to select the justify the content should be the centered and uh, the align items should be the center like this so it comes to center and then we're going to change the color of the text so here we say contact us contact us and we go to the style and here we're going to make the black color the white i think yeah white then the typography we can choose the monstrate whatever your font family you want to use you can set from here And 41, I think. Yep, that's it. And yeah, here we can add a, a form like uh, we're going to take the two columns from here. And uh, here I just want to add the one heading. I will say put this widget heading here and I will say contact us. Maybe we say uh, message us here. And then we're going to take the here on the again we go back to Elementor widget area and and such a widget we're going to write uh, the form F O R M E form. So now we're going to have the form. So uh, we're going to take this form and we're going to put under the neat here. Wherever you want to put the form, you can do that. So now you can see that we have already the form. So uh, we're going to click on the pencil icon. And if you want, you can add the more items here, like the uh, name, email, and the message, if you want to put the phone number. So what you can do is just copy the name and put this under the needs here. But yeah, like that. Uh, and otherwise you can uh, add a new item. Just click on add a plus icon here and make sure uh, it is the text, right? So if you have another email or the text area, you can radio a uh, checkbox, you can do that. But we're going to put a simple text and level we say, uh, phone number number like that one number and under the needs we're going to put the same uh, the placeholder like this and we're going to take this and we will put here some so here yeah that's it and yeah and here the button and wherever you want to uh, get the message for this contact form, you have to click on the email and here you can write uh, whatever the email you have you want to people just fill out the form and you're going to get the email so you can put here the email. Okay, and uh, go to the style. So we're going to change the button color. So go to the style here and then we're going to play around with the button color. And uh, yeah, the background color, I just want to make it uh, like my favorite color. And when someone is going to hover, the background color should be the my favorite color, but it should be a little bit more darker. Like this. Little bit more darker. Like, yeah, it's cool. So we have the uh, form also on the contact. And here on the left side, we're going to add maybe the uh, detail of our business. Like we're going to add uh, uh, here. Suppose I just want to add uh, the heading here. I will say our location area. Location. But if you don't want to put that one, uh, you can just simply just take out this delete. And uh, yeah, let's click this one. And we're going to take this one the full width. Like, uh, like it take to like this one. So we're going to have the form. And uh, we're going to make sure this text on the top have on the center. Just go to style, click on the center, like this. 
And if you want to put here some more details, you can do that. Click on here, a plus icon, and here you can put the more information if you want. But for now, we're going to put that. That's it. Just click on update. And now we go back again to remove this. And I, I go back to the website directly. And now you will see that this looks so cool. But actually, I don't like this one here when someone is hover over. So we're going to take off this one. So we go back to menus. And now in the menus, we just want to create another menu. So I will click on the create a new menu. And this menu will be the footer menu. So footer menu. Okay, select that. And we're going to click on create menu. Because uh, you can always uh, put other links in the footer if you want. So I have created the new menu with the footer. And if I click on this one, uh, we have the primary menu as well. So in the footer menu, I just want to add the some pages like uh, I want to add the about, uh, the contact, uh, my account, and uh, shop. And I want to put shop at the top and contact here and like that. Just click on the save menu. And now if I go to visit the site, if I go bottom here in the footer, you see that it's not changed. So we have to change that. Just click on, however, on the edit with Elementor and you will see here the footer for the site. We gave already the title for the footer site, footer for the site. So we're going to click on that one so we can edit the footer section. Okay, once it's done, you will be redirect here. So now we're going to click on here the pencil icon and here we're going to select the menu. So now we have the primary menu, but we're going to select the footer uh, new menu. So now we, you can see that we have changed the uh, menu. So you can see the different pages on the quick links. Once it's done, just click on the update. And now we're going to click on the exit. And if I visit the website, and now if I go back to the bottom here in the footer, now you will see that. Okay, that's cool. So let me show you another thing and then your website is ready for uh, getting the payment and you can sell and you can do the uh, like advertisement or the run the ads so digital marketing so you can run your business online. So your website is absolutely cool, mobile friendly and everything looks great. So we go back again to the WordPress dashboard. So I want to show you that uh, how you actually you can uh, connect your payments getaway so you're going to receive the money when you're going to build after building the website so now it's the final step that you have to add uh, on your store to connect the payments getaway so for that here we're going to see the woocommerce click on the woocommerce and uh, yeah just hover around the woocommerce and click on the settings here so i will show you some more settings here and up here you will see the general uh, address if you want to put the uh, address of here you can do that and you can put your country state whatever you have to uh, fill out all the details and here you can uh, make sure that general uh, options selling uh, location where do you want to sell maybe you you, you want to sell in a specific uh, place in your country or you want to select all over the world and here you have the shipping location uh, where do you want to sell it if you're going to select the ship to all the countries or specific countries you can do that it means you're going to have the all control if you want to select the uh, globally you can do that okay if we scroll down here you can also change the currency whatever the currency you are you have if you are living in the pakistan you can make the pakistan currency and if you are in the usa you can do the usa if you are in the uk you can select the uk and once it's done just click on the save changes and this is the basic things you can do that and if we go to the shipping here click on the shipping and here you will see the options to add a shipping zone so you can always control where you want to ship uh, your product so it has also the shipping uh, zone settings so we go back again to the payments and here you see that we have option direct bank transfer and check payment and cash on delivery so let me show you that how you can add the paypal and the stripe other uh, options so you can uh, always integrate uh, PayPal and these types of people can just uh, uh, purchase the product through their credit card or PayPal. So for that, uh, you have to click on to the go back to the here in the 
plugins and hover on the plugins and here click on add a new and I just want to add the a payment I'm going to write here the payments for the maybe I'm write the PayPal and you will see here the WooCommerce PayPal so we're going to install that one and here we go that's WooCommerce PayPal so we're going to take this one and install now and once it's installed then we're just going to click on to the activate and then simply you have to connect uh, your PayPal account with uh, this your store so you're going to receive the money after someone is going to uh, place order for the product and then you have to go back once it's activated just go back again to the WooCommerce settings and now go back again to the here the payments yeah, here you'll see the option also but we go with the uh, step by step so click on payments and now here we're going to make sure to select the PayPal select that one and yeah just click on to the this button so it's just loading so it will redirect us to the this page here we go and simply you have to click on here to the activate PayPal and make sure you have, uh, securely accept all major credits make sure um, mark that one and then click on activate PayPal and now it's going to redirect your PayPal account so simply you have to enter the email and the password and once it's done uh, your store uh, your PayPal account will be connected with your store so you can receive the money to your PayPal account okay this is very simple so I'm just click on the canceled but you can do that and if you want to add a stripe you can go to uh, again to the here the plugins and add a new and whatever the payment getaway you want to add you have to write here maybe stripe stripe and you can install this plugin and yeah you can accept yeah here we go the WooCommerce Stripe payment getaway so there are so many options you can do that and let me show you another thing here quickly if you uh, go here on the settings and make sure go to the general and uh, make sure a membership or uh, anyone can register and click on the save changes and another thing I want to show you so uh, make sure you have to make these settings go back again to the WooCommerce and click on the settings and now uh, just go to here the accounts and privacy and now here you will see that uh, guest checkout can do that and uh, make sure to click this one also option and allow customers to create an account during the checkout and allow customer to create an account on my account page yeah and then scroll down here if you see the more information yeah that's it I think uh, allow customer to create account on my page yeah and uh, when you the user create a, an account for based on their user so if no we don't want to make them to automatically generate the username so you, they can put theirs okay and then we're going to click on the save changes once it's done let me show you uh, the website copy this and now we go back to uh, private moon and now we paste this website link and now you're professionally you have designed and built e-commerce store on the WordPress and now you can sell worldwide your products you can see that beautifully you have added the logo and then the home about and the categories and if we scroll down here if I click on any product from here and now you will see this amazing and if I'm going to click on to the add to cart and I'm going to click on checkout here we go now you have to put all the information and then billing at s but here you said the payment option is not available because uh, we have not yet integrated the paypal so i showed you that how you can do that okay simple and then if i click on this uh, my account click on the login and register uh, people can get the login here or they can register to get the account on your website uh, so this is how uh, you can build the store just for only thirty-eight dollars point thirty twenty-eight, and yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I I'm very pretty sure that 
uh, after watching this video you can build any kind of the e-commerce website and uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel so uh, your support is going to uh, inspire me to make the more videos uh, bye bye for now and take care see you in in my in my another tutorial